Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at the G2 Limited Pen. And this is a version of Pilot's classic G2 Pen that many, many people very much love. Only this is sort of a fancier, a little bit more high-end version of it. It's got a metallic barrel and it's just a little fancier. And as you can see, it's got an elegant metal body. Now, the whole metal body thing I am a little apprehensive about. I think it's metal coated, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll tell you better when we open it up. And this particular one is a fine point. It's 0.7 millimeters. So, let's open this thing up and take a look at it. Let's open this thing up and take a look at it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't... It's a little bit heavier, and it's definitely heavier toward this end. Let's see. Actually, I think this is aluminum. I'm not 100% sure. There's, can y'all see in there? There's plastic in there, but it looks like the outside is, it feels like the outside is aluminum. Hmm. And the end is definitely a little bit heavier. So let's, let's try this thing out. Alright, so this is the Pilot G2 Limited. And if you like this, the Limiteds come in a bunch of different colors. There's like silver and gold, etc. I'll include um, links in the description if you want to check them out. And so here's a big question. Probably. The closest competitors for this would be the Pentel Intergel. That would probably be the closest direct competitor. And in this case, the Alloy. So here's a question. Let's say I like one of these, the ink, and I like the body of the other. Can we interchange them? It looks like... Maybe not. Let's see. I'm curious now. So this is a Pentel Intergel refill, and we'll try it out in the G2 body. Hmm, okay. So this is the Intergel refill. Now that's some terrible writing on my part. Does it seem like it sticks out too far? Does that look okay to y'all? It looked like the refill was a little bit long, but not terribly long. They're, yeah, they're actually really close. So, let me put this back in there, and we'll see how it looks. This thing writes pretty much like a G2. I mean, it's it's very comfortable to write with, and it's really going to be okay. So if you remember before we looked at the point, it the 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 inner gel tip sticks out just a tiny bit, but not much extra. So pilot. G2. Okay, I mean, both of them seem like really good pins. I mean, like they're they're enjoyable to write with, and I kind of think the difference there will be just personal preference. Like it feels like the inner gel kind of it it's smoother. It slides a little better, I guess, as you write, and but the G2. 
is also very comfortable to write with. Um, let me check one more thing while I'm at it. While I was picking up this G2, I figured I would also try out some of their ultra fine tips and it would give me a chance to make sure that these are compatible. I assume the refills are the same, but it's always good to double check and make sure. You know, I used to use red G2s when I would grade tests, but back in the day, I had rather large classes, and I, you know, I had a couple classes with like 75 people each, and I would use up a G2 refill pretty quick. And anyway, they're nice pins to write with, but that's a lot of red ink. And these are the ultra fine points. If you're interested, I think they are, what were they, 0.38 millimeter. So, they're very fine tips. So this is the Pilot G2 0.38 millimeters. All right. Now, a quick comparison between the 0.7 and the 0.38. This one feels a little smoother. This one's a teeny bit scratchy. But... It's also very, as you can tell from the, you can tell it is also, it looks a bit cleaner where this one, all oh, that, my right is terrible there, but you, you can tell the difference in the tip sizes. So if you wanted to, if you say, let me make sure that's still clean. Yeah. If you liked the smaller like ultra fine tip and you like this body let's try it out see if we can swap them out uh, i'd be shocked if we couldn't yeah that looks like it's the same one all right so yeah that fits same size wow what has happened to my writing today? Same size. There we go. That's better. All right. Well, that's kind of neat. And the main difference here between the traditional ones and the limited is it's a little bit heavier, and it's got the it's got the metal parts to it. And they're not super expensive. I think it's like maybe 10 bucks. They're in the same price range as like the Intergel and the, the Zebra Sarasa. They're all kind of in the same price range. So if you're looking for like a fancier G2, this is kind of a cool choice. And you also have the added versatility of being able to use any of the other G2 refills you like. So if you want to pick up like, actually it's almost cheaper to just buy sets of pens than it is to buy refills for those. Anyway, what is that? Something come off the, what is that? I guess it's just paper. Nothing came off the pen, did it? I don't see anything. All right. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have y'all tried out the G2 Limited? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is there a cooler, kind of, like, fancy version of a pen that everyone likes? Or many people like? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And if there's something I should check out, I'll also include it down there, and I'll see what I can do. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day.